What's going on YouTube? So here today to talk a little bit about the uh, college education system and uh, problems with it, maybe some uh, fixes. Um, basically just policy position today. So uh, the biggest thing right now uh, with college that's always being talked about is the cost, right? So um, they talk about the fact that college is so expensive, people can't afford to go, and when they do, they stay in debt for the rest of their lives. It's excessive. Um, back in the day, you used to be able to work a minimum wage job and, and pay for college full time and uh, support a family all in that minimum wage job. And uh, that's all true, actually. Uh, and they use that as, a, as an excuse or a reason to say, hey, we need to up the minimum wage, right? Or we need to offer college for free to everybody. Uh, somehow it will boost our economy. But this, uh, this just isn't true. I'm, I'm going to break that part of it down. While they started with the right premises, they've actually completely come to the wrong solution. So one of the biggest reasons why college is so expensive today is because the government got involved with it in the first place. College was relatively very accessible for most people, but the government always concerned or always being busybodies, uh, good enough wasn't good enough, right? It always has to be better. So they decided to go ahead and stip, uh, stick their uh, stick on into the Kool Aid, so to speak, and stir it up, and uh, apparently thought it'd have a better flavor, but it did not. So what they started to do, because back in the day, uh, you couldn't get government loans like uh, student loans and stuff like that. There were no Pell Grants. And uh, so people were saying that for some people, it was difficult to get into college, right? So now everybody really can get into college. It's just you'll never get done paying it off, right? So where, where really was the, uh, the upside on that? So what they did was they, they took this money, these Pell Grants and these guaranteed student loans, and, and they gave them out. And uh, the educational systems, knowing that the government would find a way to, uh, to go ahead and pay for those loans no matter what, uh, they started raising their prices. Some, some absurd amount, uh, it's like 4,000%. I, I don't have the numbers right in front of me because I just kind of speak off the cuff based on my knowledge on these issues rather than actually having statistics pulled up in front of me. But but it's a very high percentage increase in the cost of college since they implemented uh, uh, government-backed student loans. So uh, that that's just one of the problems whenever you guarantee that something will be paid for no matter what is the fact that the people on the other side, you're trying to introduce a version of socialism in um, a socialistic uh, ideal to a capitalistic society. So the capitalists, right, know that you're going to pay it no matter what. They raise the price, right? That's why interventionism is, yeah, it, it's not the worst. Communism's pretty bad. Socialism's really bad. But interventionism that we like to take in, uh, take part in so much is worse than just laissez-faire capitalism, for sure. Uh, and the college uh, college situation is one of the best uh, best examples of this. So, uh, anyways, colleges start to raise their, their prices, their tuitions. Nothing new is really being added besides additions to the schools, maybe a new sports stadium, a new library. This is our this is our garden over here that costs you know two hundred thousand dollars to construct. But those costs are all put on to the students who pay those loans back over time. And then there's also the fact that you can't even bankrupt yourself out of these loans, right? Because the, since they're federally backed, right, they, they have to ensure that you're going to do your, their part so you're not just sticking the government with the bill. And the government will get their money eventually, right? So... Uh, that that's the uh, problem with the uh, the pricing. Now the second thing is is that college degrees just aren't paying that much anymore. 
Um, of, of course, there's some fields that are doing very well, you know, doctor, lawyer. But those are all things that require more than just your average four-year degree that people go for. Um, they, and those people wind up in hundreds of thousands of dollars of debt. Uh, and God forbid if you went for something like lesbian dance theory or a master's in underwater basket weaving. While I'm sure that that's fun and, and uh, stress relieving, it's not going to quite pay the bills, you know. Uh, I, I have a, a degree in liberal arts, you know, it only cost me $80,000, but uh, um, at least I can't get a job with it. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, that, that, that's the other thing is they're not paying, these jobs aren't paying out that much anymore. And uh, part of the reason for that is because now that everybody could get into college, the actual value of an associate's and a bachelor's degree has gone down dramatically. So, uh, like, I have a bachelor's uh, in information technology, right? I know, looking at me, I just kind of look like a dumb redneck or something like that. But I, I am college educated, right? And I did very well. Um, very, very well. But uh, I, I have a four-year degree that, in that. Luckily, I didn't have to take out a student loan. I had my GI Bill that paid for the college but um but i could get a job doing that for uh i think the last time i went in for an interview was 15 dollars an hour right uh and th this is it this is a practical useful skill um but it doesn't pay too much until you start getting up into the you know the masters and doctorates and stuff like that uh, regular bachelors, not that much. Uh, plus, you have to get all your certifications on top of it. But um, I also went to a trade school for about a oh, month and a half. Yeah, a month and a half. And I, I, I bring in uh, well over $15 an hour. <laughs> well, well, well over $15 an hour. So that that's, that's a dilemma. Uh, college isn't paying for as, uh, paying as much anymore this is because everybody has a degree now right it's like a high school diploma almost right you need it to get into basic jobs and then you have all this debt racked up after it so um all all that making the uh the um the college free for people is going to do is increase that problem of those degrees not paying as much and increase the problem of uh of how much money it's sucking out of the government now right because now it's just it's pulling it straight from the teeth so to speak it uh it is just down in it as fast as it can that that as far as funds go so well what's your options then well i mean i guess that the government could nationalize the schools and then the education would turn terrible and crappy like everything government ran but also that'd be like a huge huge issue if the government just nationalized for profit uh for profit entities it, it'd have a huge impact on the economy and everything so uh you should not support uh solutions like that now what would be a what would be a practical solution for this and i think i know one right it's just to admit hey it was a bad idea right so this is what you do you freeze your interest your uh interest rates on loans that are already out right you basically you're saying hey we're starting from scratch this was a bad idea we're gonna we're not gonna forgive the debt people still agree to it but we're at least gonna freeze the interest right freeze the interest and make them pay for for larger loans you know what i mean at least half of it back right if it's under that you need to pay it all um and, and start working that down uh get that done with and that get that interest from building up on people that's a that's a huge killer that's one of the biggest reasons why people that have debt of hundreds of thousands of dollars will never get out of it because the interest just keeps accumulating right let it let it go back to uh to the old days when people had to get a personal loan in order to go to college right because those those uh and then you also have to allow them to bankrupt out of it right and that's that's to ensure that the the creditors won't just approve any amount to the to the people taking it they can't bankrupt out of it the the creditor will get their money eventually but if you make it to where there is a risk of the the creditor losing their money then they're going to be very 
very specific on what people, uh, how much money people are able to take to go to uh, go to school. So you institute that uh, creditor has to see what your degree plan is, right? Uh, they're going to want to make sure that you're not getting something like in lesbian dance theory, right? So that that takes out that problem right away because they're going to be like, hey, if you take 50 grand out to go get this and hopefully it's lower than that by this time um to go get this degree you took your 50 grand out but you're getting a degree in something that'll never pay you how are we supposed to get our money back right so uh yeah so so you got to let people be able to bankrupt on it okay uh it just be like another bank loan just just a normal bank loan but these schools are going to have to drop their prices because since the creditor won't approve any amount of just insert number into blank check here, right? They are going to have to drop their prices. Otherwise they'll have nobody coming into the school and they'll lose even more money than if they just had people coming into the school. Uh, this is one of those things where you just have to accept that government does a terrible, terrible, terrible job at things like this and needs to be pulled out. Right? Just start from scratch. Freeze the interest rates. Allow people to bankrupt out of their loans. And get the government out of, out of education. Right? You can still have your, your normal crappy public education. That's fine. But out of, uh, out of college education, it, it's absurd. It is rampant. It is damaging our country now. We need to do something about it. And that something is less government, not more. So, till next time, y'all take it easy.